Uh, my name is Emabe Wimano, a lecturer in civil engineering. I'm going to um, perform a test called particle size distribution using the sieve analysis. Um, first of all, I'm going to um, give a brief description of what is uh, the sieve analysis or particle sieve distribution and uh, the purpose. So we do the particle sieve analysis distribution in order to classify the soil that we are going to use either in foundation uh, design or in road construction to know whether the material uh, meets the requirements depending on the specification. So here we have equipment that um, will help us to, uh, to conduct the sieve analysis. Here we have um, mechanic uh, shaker. We have the sieves that are small for material that are not coarse material. Then we have these um, bigger sieves for granular materials. Then we'll also be using um, the balance that will help us to weight the materials. Then finally, we are going to use uh, the laptop in order to, uh, to do the reports. So the sieve analysis or the particle sieve distribution um, has three, uh, we, if we can call it sieve processing. We have what we call Marshall procedure, we have air dry procedure, and we have oven dry procedures. So today we are going to use what we call air dry procedures in order to conduct uh, our, our test. So we have the sample here and um, this sample, uh, the standards, we are going to use the standards STMD 6913-2017. So looking, for, looking at uh, the sample, we can see that um, the methods has dif the, the standard has different methods, but um, we first use the visual assessment to know or the um, maximum particle size of the sample. Then we can predict which, um, which methods are we going to use. This sample, we can see that 50% of this sample pass on the sieve um, 4.75 millimeters. So we are, go we are going to use um, this procedure in, or in order to, um, to conduct our test. We are going to use a wet sieve analysis, which means that we are going to wash our material, our sample, in order to conduct um, our test. There is two types. There is what we call dry sieve and, and wet sieve. We are going to use wet sieve. In order to use the wet sieve based on the material we have, we need um, the sieve that the material can retain on the 4.75 millimeter and the material that can retain on 0 0.075 millimeters. So um, the next step is we are going to weight this sample, first of all, using the balance in order to know the weight of the sample. So after knowing the weight of the sample, the next step, the next step will be soaking the sample at least five minutes in order to allow the fine particle that that stick to the 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 bigger particle to be dispersed. So the next step will be to soak the sample at least five minutes, depending on the type of the soil, 
the periods can go up to two hours. Some standards uh, uh, allow up to 24 hours. So the next step will uh, follow. So um, after soaking and during the soaking, the material can be steering in order to facilitate the fine material to get removed from the particle or the, or the bigger size material. So after soaking, the next step will be following, we are going to wash the material using the sieve 4.75 millimeter and 0 0.075 millimeter in order to, to separate the coarse material and the fine material. So we are going to wash the material. We'll wash the material till the material or the particles are clean enough. All the fine material that are sticking on the coarse material are removed. Then the next step is we are going to transfer the specimen that are washed in a can. So we are going to continue washing the material that are returning on the 0 0.075 millimeter sieve. We are going to wash it also till the material returning on this sieve 0 0.075 are clean. So the washing of course will be smooth in order to not break the particles. After the material is washed and clean, we are going to transfer the returned materials in a can. So in order to not lose any, any um, particles that are remaining, we reverse the sieve and wash all the sample that are After transferring all the materials that have been saved or washed on the sieve 4.775 millimeter and 0 0.075, so we are going to dry this material in an oven. In an oven that has a temperature of 110 degree minus and plus 5 um, degree. So this sub specimen are going to spend overnight in the oven at a temperature of 110 plus and minus 5 degrees. 